this episode, I have a plan to do some building. However, I have no idea how I'm going to approach it or if it's going to work. So let's find out together. The first thing we need to do is extend this road over towards our houses. Now, you can actually mine parts of these roads and get like a roadblock. Or you can use your rake and very finically, you can extend this road for free without any resources. So I'm going to extend this this way and then over and you'll see why shortly. So if you start on the road and continue, usually it's a bit finicky, but usually you can do this for free without using any actual roadblocks. Now that our road's done, I'm going to move our flame altar. We're going to put it kind of somewhere back in this area. Uh, kind of lined up, with, lined up with this door, which I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but I don't have a better place to put it, and I need to move it back this way. And the reason we need to move it is because currently our line of influence is here, and we are going to actually do our build today back here on these little hills right in this area. We're going to clean these trees out, flatten this, and build back here. But currently we have an 80 by 80 um, altar and I'm going to upgrade it to be 120 by 120, but I still want to make sure it goes far enough back. So we're going to move this here and we're going to hope, hope we have enough space. So I want to move our flame altar to right into this area. Um, and what I want to do is I want to lift it off the ground. So I'm going to use this two, uh, two by two wall block and I'm going to put it a little bit above the road just because I, the road's not perfectly level and I want this to be kind of this spot. We're also gonna put a floor tile here. We'll snap it into this corner, which I'm snapping on. And we're gonna go one above it, actually, if I can turn snapping off again. So we're gonna do that, and we're going to delete the bottom one. And the reason for that is I wanna be able to snap the flame altar to this top tile. So I've only ever found that it snaps to the side. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. So it's gonna be this high, which is a bit tall, obviously. But I think it's going to make sense once I finish the, the surrounding pieces. So we're going to put it there. Go back into this. Delete this floor piece. We'll delete this wall tile here. Which is actually going to wreck our ground. Yep. Um, but then what we're going to do is go back in here. Take our floor tiles. We'll turn snapping off. And we're going to actually lower it by one snapping piece. Perfect. Now what we'll do is we'll put stairs up into here, we'll do a roof, and we'll we'll decorate this. And I think, so you can also do, if you put this up one, we can actually change the floor texture, which makes that look awesome. So before I do any more on this flame altar build, we need to make sure that it's actually going to be enough influence. And all I did was I upgraded it twice, so you can see here we now have 120 by 120. We can go one more time once we do the flame up once more. But I was looking at it and it's actually not gonna be quite enough. It's gonna be just shy by like a handful of blocks. But that's okay. I think I have a way we can do this where it will be temporary and it won't matter anyways. What we'll do is we'll actually put another flame shroud, uh, flame altar back here just for the build. And then once we expand this one later, we can actually uh, just remove it and it'll be perfectly fine. So we can build this, we can destroy this one, and uh, we should be good to go. So I think it's a bit overkill, but it's starting to come together. What I've done is I've actually put a bunch of roofs in here, as you guys have seen. Um, and then on the inside here, I've put shroud wood to kind of fill these walls in. No, I'm still shaping this side. And then we're using the rough stone blocks here to like make pillars, which I think work well. Um, we're gonna leave this as like, um, what do you call it? Like an inset? Uh, I don't know what the word is for that. But we're gonna tear it down a little bit on these roofs, right? Which is why they're a bit smaller. And then, uh, as you saw, I actually shaped this down. So 
This is a four foot um, roof, whatever, which I cut in half and then brought these ones in. Uh, but there's lots left to do and it's probably overkill, but um, you know, it is what it is. If we don't like it, we'll, we'll tear it down later. So I think it turned out actually better than I thought it was going to. I mean, it is bulky and really not necessary and probably overkill, but uh, I really like how it looks. Uh, the one thing about it, these pieces stick out to the roof, which I actually kind of like, and I wish they stuck out when you were farther away, but they only do when you're closer, which is fine. So the only thing I'm considering is this pillar here probably needs to be over one so that the overhangs a bit more. But at the same time, I think the overhang is too long, not from this view, but from here, right? And that's only because that building is like in the, in the sight line. So it is what it is. This might get moved uh, later because it's probably too far back to be totally honest, but whatever for today, it is what it is. This isn't the build we're doing. But what I do need to do first is level this out. I've already done this side. Now I need to do over here. And I also need to do some uh, creative placement of dirt. So if I do this, you can see we got a little bit on this one already. What I wanna do is kind of just go around and like find a few spots, hopefully. Hopefully we can get a couple where if I put dirt, this isn't gonna help me, is it? If I put dirt high up, I want some, uh, I want some vines, but okay, there's one there. So if I get rid of that and put it there and no, nope, get rid of that one. No, nope, we're not going to get wired. So as long as that one piece is there, we're going to have one piece of dirt, uh, one piece of vine. I can't break this because it's annoying. There we go. So I'm going to do that and see if I can get some more pieces kicking around. Um, and I'm going to level this and then I'll bring you guys back. So I think overall it turned out pretty good. Um, I've got some uh, some vines and stuff growing all over the place. I planted some flowers, so we're going to get some flax and some, uh, what are these things called? Uh, Ar Arolin flowers. So once that grows, we'll have some like yellow and blue flowers around here. I got a few janky bits to fix, like this right there I got to fix yet. But uh, for the most part, it turned out pretty good. Unfortunately, it took a lot more resources than I thought it was going to. So I need to go farm some stone, some flint, uh, I need some shroud wood, and uh, some rubble. So uh, I'll be back shortly. After a bunch of terraforming, I think I have the plan kind of figured out. So I'm actually gonna change how I wanted to do this initially. Uh, initially, this wasn't gonna be enough, but it might be. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. I'm gonna probably put the flame altar in here anyways to extend it, just because I kind of want this build to be able to like overlook this valley. I think from here, like it's not, it's not, not enough. So uh, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna lay out this floor plan. Basically, it's gonna be similar to that one. It's gonna be three wide by probably seven long instead of five. And then here, there's gonna be a like a lowered section that I'm not sure if it's gonna be a full wall or a half wall. I'm not a hundred percent. The pathway is gonna come up over here, up like this, and then the entrance is actually gonna be here, facing this way, which is kind of weird but I think it's gonna work. So the floor plan's laid out. It's actually eight by three wide. So it's eight going this way, three wide. Then there's an extra one here. So this part is actually four wide. And then here is an extra half. And the reason for that is because there's gonna be a wall that goes straight down here. So this is gonna be like an exterior ledge to the building, just to give it some more like depth, I guess. Um, and then down here, this uh, is gonna be interior, whereas this is gonna be like an exterior piece, probably with a door somewhere here. So it's gonna be like an access like work area with uh, access to the building there, I think. Um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to put a room into this hill. Uh, however, the hill's not very thick. You can see it's not very deep here. So we don't have a lot of room, but we should be able to get at least like two tiles in there and it should be, it should be good. So I'm trying to decide what wood I wanna use here. Uh, we don't have a lot of options yet because we haven't unlocked everything. Um, however, I think we're gonna use a combination of the two stones and then wood uh, kind of like this all the way around. We'll do some designs in here maybe. Uh, I'm thinking we put like, bring this stone actually forward. Yeah, I should probably do that now actually. Okay, it's not any better. I don't know how I wanna do this yet. The, the bottom seems too flat, uh, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. For now, I gotta figure out which kind of wood we want. So we have the rough wood, we have tarred wood, and we have shroud wood. And I think we might go for this one because it's like an alchemist thing. I don't know. I don't want to do this one. It's the same as the last one. So I think we're going to do either tarred wood, which is going to be a pain because I have no tar. Uh, we can get some though. Or shroud wood. I just think shroud wood's a little too plain.
here's where I don't know how I'm going to accomplish this. So this whole build is based off some concept art I found a long, long time ago. And I really love the idea of putting grass on the roof. But I need to put a roof first. So there's going to be a peak kind of like here. So let's just say it's like this, right? Uh, obviously, that's not center. Let's go over one. So say there's a peak here. And then this roof is actually going to turn into um, this. Like... So, kind of here, but that's like super steep. And I mean, it might actually work if I pull this peak out a little bit more. So if I go hit, say like this, right? And we do another one here, something like that. I need a scaffold. Then I think what we do, and this is where I hope it works. If I take terrain blocks, and line this it's gonna take forever to do but if I do this right and then we can either use the rake this trees in my way or just kind of let it be we're gonna get grass growing on this height and I'm just concerned if having the roof below it is gonna be a problem or not but if we do this all the way I'm hoping it looks right I don't know how I'm gonna accomplish this but this is kind of the goal if I can figure it out I really want to cut this stupid tree down because it is right in my way, but it's like a perfect tree and it's in a good spot. So I don't want to do that, but it's super annoying to work when it's right in my camera all the time. Anyways, I think I've kind of figured this out. So we're using this, uh, the rough stone block on the edge here or rough stone, whatever the kind of stone is, um, this fancier stone. And by doing that, we can kind of like make a trim on this. And then we use the regular stone on the inside, which we're going to fix this edge because it doesn't look right. So we'll figure that out. But if I use that on the inside, and then I put grass on the top, we get kind of this decent sloping hill. And it's a pretty good slope, so it's not like the same extreme we were getting with the roof. Um, in order to do this, it's one by two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now I just gotta go up here a little bit more, find our peak, put the peak across this way, and then kind of finish this. The problem is, I don't know if I'm gonna like this interior look for the entire build because my plan was that this entire house was going to have a grass roof and I don't know we're going to do that because this has already taken a ton of work. Well, it's actually the next day now and a lot has happened overnight. So let's catch you guys up. This part here, I filled in completely with dirt. Now, uh, what I did and I showed you guys before, it's just a strip of stone and then it is dirt on top lined by the rough cut stone, whatever it's called. And then on the outside here, there's roofs. Now, they look a little janky at the moment, but that's just because that's how I've done it. So on both sides, that's there. And then down here, there's more of the stone underneath here. Just kind of frame this. And I kind of like how it's got like this tiered look off the side. And then over here, I've done the same thing. So this stone continues. Then I've used roof pieces. This is just the, the stone shingle roof. Um, it's brought down, so it goes across the top there, and then it comes down, and it makes these beams, and then it's just framed at the bottom. It's pretty straightforward and simple. I showed you guys this in, like, the second episode I did, uh, and you can see on the inside how it makes this little, this little lip because of, the, like, the top part. And then over here, I put another roof. Uh, these are just the basic roofs, and you can see there's a bit of a gap here because there's a roof, and then there's dirt on top. Now, once the dirt's on top, I take the rake, kind of just mess it up a little bit. And you can see there's a few areas here that get a little weird, but uh, just by taking some dirt, we can fill these in and make it like look a little bit better. You know, if it needs it, we don't really need to though. It's a roof and no one's gonna be up here, but you get the idea, whoa. Um, you get the idea from a distance of how it looks. Then I've also brought these pillars kind of out, but I'm kind of playing with the idea right now of this wood beams. And I really think this looks good on this side. Uh, it's too much stone otherwise, right? This gives a little bit of color. There's green, there's some browns. This is the part that I'm kind of messing with still. I don't know if I like the corner piece. I'm kind of kind of thinking it's okay, but once I do that all the way around, I think it's gonna be a little weird. Now on the inside here, I filled everything in for this, but it's super dark. And we're gonna need to make a window here if I can. Uh, maybe off the side. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to continue because this is taking a lot of my life right now. <laughs> there we go. So that roof is moved forward and down a little bit. And it's not quite in line with this one anymore, which is perfect because I didn't want to have it like straight across the same height all the way. 
I like this kind of like slight slope down and then there's different heights. I don't know why, but I think it looks really good and it's a little bit more, I want to say organic than, you know, just built. Um, so a few things we've done is I've obviously roughed this out. We need to fill in some of these holes here and on this side, you can see there's a bunch missing. But basically this whole thing is going to be filled in with dirt. Um, these spots here kind of represent what we're going to have to cut out. This will be like a walkway in or a window or whatever. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do this quite yet, but it's going to be something along those lines. And then all the roof and all this stone is going to be covered in dirt and hopefully blended in nicely. This one will be fixed, cut out, same thing. Um, there's a lot left to do, but unfortunately I've only got 200 dirt, so I need to go mining. Uh, the other thing too is when I pull this forward, you can see now I've pushed this one block like out one and it kind of breaks this corner and I don't know how to fix it because the corner now is here on the stone and even if it was back one, it's still out by like one block. So I don't know how to fix it, but uh, yeah, lots more detailing to do and, and little nonsense and it's... Uh, this is quite the project. <laughs> so things have changed quite dramatically. Uh, I've been working on this corner here and I really couldn't figure out how to join these two pieces. So instead of fixing it, we're hiding it. Basically what I did is I used a scrap metal brazier, sunk it into the ground, built a cool fireplace out of it. And I wanted this like whimsical, slightly crooked chimney here. So that kind of goes up. In the top part there, there's a wall torch that has a little bit of smoke coming off of it. It's tough to see, but it's kind of there. And then I wanted to continue this roof uh, slope down with like the dirt and all that coming down. It kind of, you know, fills in this corner. This is all broken. So it looks like a little bit of a working area. Uh, I've also gone ahead and built like a flower planter type thing here with this window. And I finished this window. Uh, this one came out pretty good. And we have to do this now. I'm starting to fill in the dirt here. The one thing I'm struggling with is this. So I wanted this like second tier of dirt so it's like a kind of two-tiered thing here but now i'm thinking this would be a really cool like if this was stone here this would be a really cool like viewing area you know your little terrace type thing and then you'd walk out here so this would be a door the problem is i don't know how to build the second floor so i was kind of working on this this should be a window but honestly this is a good height but that would have to be like two or three blocks higher and so with this to make it like look decent otherwise it's just a giant window which i guess isn't bad uh but the second floor thing having these the roofs here like where it's sloped you can't do a lot against the corners you know you lose a lot of space i could put walls but you still lose a bunch so i don't know how i want to do this and i don't really want to fill all of this in because well it makes it kind of kind of tight so I, i'm not sure how i want to do that yet uh that's kind of what i'm working on I think I'm going to bust this wall open and push everything here back that way into the hill. I think we're going to do quite a bit of that. I was going to do a small room, but I think we might push this whole wall. Like, um, here is, I think it's three pieces, uh, three full tile pieces. Oh, I kind of broke it down, I guess. Um, we might go from like here to like here and push the whole thing back by like a full floor just to get a little bit more space. I, I think that's what we're going to do next. Yeah, I think, I think that's where we're going to go. I think this fireplace is one block too far to the left. If I line it up there, it looks okay. And then I think it's one block left here. So I was building this out and I know I said there's a fireplace outside that'd be the fireplace of this house. But as I was digging this out, I thought, you know, what would I use this area for? And I'm thinking like initially I thought like a library. So I put, you know, a few more bookcases over here and stuff. And then I was thinking, you know what, this would be a really good study for an alchemist, right? So I went back and I made it kind of natural. Like we have some grass growing. We've got some, uh, you know, there's a, a strawberry. There's some flowers. The dude's got his coffee and his firefly lamp over here. So, you know, it's more natural and stuff. And then I kind of broke up the, the fireplace. So it's more like, you know, more used and lived in. And then uh, I guess, and also here, this is a, a buried um, uh, brazier as well. So just trying to get a better looking fireplace. And then before I realized this, um, apparently the comfort level of your houses transfers anywhere within your 
uh, flame altar radius. I didn't realize that, but I actually buried a regular furnace behind this. So we would get like the warmth bonus as well as the comfort bonus if we needed, which we don't actually need it. So it's fine. But anyways, while I was building this, I decided to finish the rest of the place. So I did a lot of work and yeah, it's uh, I figured out the roof. I figured out the second floor and we got quite a bit done. So what I did here is a little bit of a seating area. We sunk this down. I put like another one of those flame uh, braziers here. This is sunk in and there's benches here, which unfortunately you can't sit on the bench. Like you can sit, uh, if I, can I sit? Okay, it doesn't want me to sit there. Let's try sitting here. I can't sit at all. Why can't I sit? You can't sit while you're holding the hammer. Um, okay, he sits through it. <laughs> okay, well that doesn't work at all. Anyways, uh, what I did here is this is all kind of like just kind of filling the air. We don't have a lot of uh, decorative items yet. So I've been using what we have, you know, there's carpets and whatever else. Then this was kind of like to make it more of like a, like the, the ground is coming in. I don't know how to say it. More natural, I guess is the right word. Uh, not so much like a hobbit house where this is like underground, but I wanted some like nature elements. You know, it's an alchemist, right? And then what I also did, you can see like we're getting warmth here. In order to get that for the stat bonus, uh, this whole house gives us rested, except for this area down here. It doesn't give us it because there's no heat. But in order to get it the rest of the house, I actually buried furnaces. You can see right there, pick up underneath. There's actually a uh, furnace there and a furnace there buried under the ground. So we get our heat bonus. And then a uh, bunch of lighting and stuff. And then up here, we finish these windows. I kind of framed them in uh, using different stones. So we have the flint stone here, the regular stone. There's some of the rough stone in some areas. Over here is kind of our bedroom. That again, we don't have a lot of a lot of uh, decorative items, so I'm kind of just putting this as we have stuff. And we really don't need because our comfort level is 17. Let me sleep the night away really quick. All right. Well, while the sun's coming up, so then over here again, I put some more of that flint stone in just because it's a different look than the regular stone. Uh, another firefly lamp, which these things look really, really, really cool when the fireflies come out. I really love how they look. Uh, up here, I kind of framed a little walkway. Obviously, we can walk over it. But you can see right in here, there's these holes. I left it on purpose because the shroud wood kind of gives that, like, barrier, like, what's the word, banister type look? Like, where the two pieces connect. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I've been working on the roof and kind of incorporating this in. This door is all done. The balcony is all done. Again, I broke some of this up, so it's kind of like not so, um, you know, brand new. We want it like lived in and, you know, falling apart a little bit. And the grass is completely on the roof all the way around. Windows are all done. This part's all filled in, except for this area right here. There's, that's still floating there. I needed a, I needed a temporary balcony to do some of this. Let's get rid of that. Um, we're going to finish this in a minute, but... Uh, let's finish the outside first. So over here, I finished shaping all this, put a nice flower bed in here, which I'll put like some flax and stuff in here, I think. Like we'll use this as an actual flower bed. And then around the front, I kind of finished this platform. We're gonna extend this out and fix this a little bit. Uh, our workbench is here, a little bit of storage, just enough to kind of make it so it looks like it's being used. What I am gonna do though, is go through this and take a few spots, start breaking this up, right like this, and then putting like some different stone in just so we get like some different shapes so it's not so uniform and we'll do it on the edge too like we'll, we'll, we'll push some pieces like that break it in just again to get a different look right same thing i did over here uh this is all finished with the little little um what do you call it pillars i guess which are just roof tiles that one's really weird right there we'll fix that uh, this roof tile is coming down and then it's framed so it gets a nice look we're gonna put a, a walkway from here going down kind of like kind of like this angle like this up so we'll do that but the thing i want to do right now with you guys is we don't have a way to get up to the second level right now i have to double jump but this corner is kind of useless and this part right here it's going to be narrow but i think that's okay we're going to do a little bit of a i don't know if we can do a circular staircase but we're going to try to clean this out and do a bit of a a bit of a pathway up i'm not sure how to do it yet but uh we're gonna do it right now so I'm placing the stone and then removing it just because it removes dirt. Uh, we'll have to go through and clean up all this other crap after. But I think we're going to get a nice a nice little path in here. I want it to be kind of natural still, so I'm trying not to go too far with it. Let's get rid of it. Oops. Cameras are rough in some of these spots. 
uh, sparks, some of these parts. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's push this back. There we go. So I think that's going to work. So basically what I did is I just carved this out, filled it with, um, this is flintstone. It's hard to see because the sun's super bright. That's a really cool look right there. I like that. Uh, that's a very picturesque uh, image. Um, I put a little bit of dirt in here so we get some grass growing in here, make this a little more natural inside here. We'll put candles, which I don't have any. Uh, we'll put some lighting in this little hallway. And it's super narrow, but that's okay. I think it's uh, I think it's worth it. This piece here is a little bit janky. Like, it should be over to the left one, but then it looks weird. And it looks like it's angled kind of strange just because of, like, the way the roof is. But it is what it is. It's going to be a nice little uh, way down. And then all I said, I'll fill this in. We'll shape that back up. I'll fill this part of the roof in. And then I got to do some road work. And the, come on, the workshop the little area over here. We'll finish this up. I still might put a flame altar in here somehow. I don't know how yet. We might look at that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue this and I'll bring you guys right back. Well guys, it has been a hell of a long couple days, but I think I am finally done building and I wanna take you guys on a little walk through everything we've done today. And uh, I'm hoping if you guys see anything that you wanna see more of or any comments or any suggestions what I can do better to uh, please leave that in the comment section below. And uh, as we unlock more things, we're only you know early in the game still. So as we unlock more decorations, we'll come back to this stuff and and fully flesh it out, and make it a lot like nicer and, and more full and stuff. But for now, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, let's take a little walk. So we built this uh, like pagoda style ruin thing. Is it a pagoda? I don't know. Um, for our flame altar, it came out pretty nice. But it's basically like we don't really need it. But I think it was a cool addition. And it kind of, you know, lets us have like a roadway through here. So I'm still working on this. I can't get this to be smooth and I don't really know why. But for now, it, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we haven't unlocked any like proper lanterns. So I'm just using torches on some roof pieces to get some like, you know, like um, lamp posts uh, for the roadway here. Then I added some stones, some fence work just to kind of like frame in the like the road against the tree. To kind of just give it something so it's not just a plain road going around. Then we come in here and we have the workshop little area with, honestly, the build. This has turned out to be one of my favorite, if not my best, in my opinion, build that I've done in gaming in, in a long time for sure. Uh, this was so much fun and I really hope you guys enjoy it because it, it was a lot of work. And uh, yeah, I, I really loved it. Anyways, we have this workshop area here. Like I said, we'll fill this in as we go. We got our fireplace with a little cool uh, slanted chimney and all that. Then I finished the stairs going up and I made them kind of like offset because I really wanted it to be like kind of built to the hill, which I think turned out pretty decent. Uh, I, it would be nice if we could like make it like maybe a little bit more curved right here, but uh, I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, here, we're going to make this into a farmland or something. Uh, I don't really know. It's just kind of for decoration if we do anything there. Then I did extend our flame altar. I put a second one here just because I said I would. We don't really need it. It doesn't gain much, but you know, it adds some space that we might need in the future. So it's there. I also moved our alchemist here. So he is fully situated. Uh, I also put our farmer inside just because, you know, separate the people a little bit, give them some space. And then, like I said, we got all these pillars. These roof pieces work really well for these pillars. Um, this is all shaped in nicely. I do have a bit of cleanup to do here. I don't really like this spot, but for now, it's it's fine. And then I started bringing some of the groundwork down to kind of clean this up. I want to shape this a bit more, but for today, it, it's fine. So as we go inside now, we've got um, our little grass areas. Now, I tried planting stuff on this one, but it's like... It takes all the grass away you put like a mushroom there and all the grass goes away so it doesn't look as good so i left it for now uh, we have our little seating area like i said all these bookcases are empty because doing books let me see if i can show you guys this books are crazy um to make a book 
it takes well this collection is 80 old books that's you get one per book you harvest so it's 80 times holding e to get a set of books or 20 for these like it's mental i think i've only got like 30 or 40 so it, it's mental to do books um so that'll come over time obviously because i'd love to make this like a library type thing like fill these all in um we have the little works are the what do you call it the study area which again i didn't move this over yet i think it needs to go over one block but i'm not gonna do that now because i'm tired and sick of building um once we unlock the planks we'll like mount a head or something on this mantelpiece uh put the farmer in here she kind of fits in this area pretty nicely and over here it's pretty empty just because we don't have a lot of decoration i did however add a bathtub toilet sink just to get the comfort bonus we're at comfort 24 which gives us a 29 minute buff so it's it's not bad it's better than uh we had i think we started at like 14 or something the episode so uh it's pretty pretty solid then uh i finished the staircase and i actually decided to leave this open i think just because the light shining through here like this look is awesome to me i don't know why but i think that looks that just that image right there looks super cool and i really wanted to keep that aesthetic so we did then I go up here, and it's the same as I showed you guys. We don't, there's a block right there I should probably remove. Um, we don't really have a lot that I've changed in here. We'll we'll add stuff to this as we go, and we'll shape it up. But uh, yeah, guys, this is kind of the, the finish of the build. Um, the roof's all done and shaped. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something really fast, because I'm sure people are gonna mention it in the comments. I never realized, you can see, I did most of this, these little lines individually. And I didn't realize that this bottom section of building stuff is all terrain pieces. And you can just go like this and fill it nicely. I mean, it doesn't work there, but you can fill it nicely and then it'll leave a piece on the inside. But I didn't realize that's what that was, so I didn't use it. And whatever, I guess. So yeah, anyways guys, this is the end of the episode for me today. I'm going to crash because I'm super tired. But uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did and you want to see some more builds, uh, please let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time.